Boss, today we've announced that Tunji Akinola has signed on loan from West Ham. A really good shrewd signing. Yes, I think so. Um, should I say that about the signing that I've made? But no, I think... Um, like for, for us, we're, we're pleased that, that, that Tunji signed. Um, we've looked at him for a while now. Um, discussions with uh, good, good, good people, good friends at, at West Ham that I've got about uh, potential players to come into us this year. And then once those players are identified by people you trust, you start to do your research and you and you dig in on what they're like in terms of their characters and and obviously you know what what everyone's going to see with, with with what Tunji does once he's out on the pitch for Leighton Orient. So it's taken it's taken time, but I think it's important that, it's, that, that we take that. Uh, Tunji comes here with um, a real wealth of experience in terms of being around the first team at West Ham through through the lockdown period. So we're delighted to have him. West Ham describe him as a ball playing centre back. What are some of the qualities you've seen in him that have uh, that it's meant you brought him in? Yeah, I think that. I think, but the big thing for me with um, with players coming from under twenty threes football like Tunji has is that they're ready to deal with what this game has got to throw at them and what League Two has got to throw at them. We, we, you know, at times we play a totally different game uh, to, to what under-23s football looks like every week. So for me, it's, quite, it's about trying to identify the qualities of the person that he can come in here and he can cope with being around men and in a different environment because that's vital. Um, and then at the same time that when the game gets a bit untidy, bit crash bang wallop, bit more aggressive at, at this level that, that they can step up and they can cope with that. So that's something that we really look into. And it's great that we, you know, we understand that Tunji's comfortable on the ball and, and he'll bring that element of the game to us, but he, he needs to be able to look at the other side of the game as well. So one, does he have those qualities? Yes, we feel we've identified that in him, um, but also at the same time, is he going to continue to develop and get better as a footballer and as a defender? And, and, and that's the big reason of why we've signed him played over 50 times for their under-23s, but, but this is his first long move. It, it feels like it'll be really important for his development personally. Yeah, I think um, that's certainly the case. Uh, I think the amount of football that he's been playing is important at whatever level. You know, you, you, you don't want to be taking someone who's got very little experience at, at any level uh, out and, and throwing him into into this environment. So it's, it's important that he's been getting those games under his belt, those minutes under his belt. Um, and that he's, you know, he's, that he's ready physically to come in and, and play here. So, um, yeah, he hasn't had a loan experience before, but I think when you're in League Two, you don't always get the boys that have had two, three, four loans come in here because there's a reason why they've built that experience up and, and, and would probably go to clubs a little bit further up the pyramid or they don't work and they've ended up staying at our level, which then casts a grey grey area over it. So we're excited to give... Tunji's first experience. Uh, I love working with young players um, and I think by bringing him here, he's going to enhance our group. He's going to make us better and and ultimately for him coming here, he's going to have that, uh, I suppose, selfish eye on, on what, what it's about in, in order to make him better. And Tunji will really improve our depth in defence. Yeah, I think depth is important. Um, depth in defence first because um, whenever you sign a player, you look directly at the positions and the players that we've already got in that position and how we can contend with, um, with, with going into the team ahead of them. I think versatility because he can play across the back four, which is obviously a, a real uh, key element to, to having him as well. And then I think depth across the team, the squad is vital as well because we need to be able to rotate. We need to be able to bring players in. We need to be able to rest people. We need to be able to trust their replacements. So we know that um, we know that we're going to get that in, in Tunji and what he does is he gives us a number, another number across the whole squad, not just in the back four. Finally, could we potentially see him at the weekend against Barrow? I would, I would like to think so. I think that, I think that the, the real important thing with, with any signing is that he comes in and he knows that he's got to play his way into the group and he knows that, like I've already said, he's, there'll be times when people are in and, and times when people are out. It's going to be very difficult for anybody to play every single game this season. So... Um, it's important that tomorrow he comes in, he trains, he becomes part of the group, he'll meet the lads tonight. Um, and then, you know, we start to work towards a plan for how it's going to look. If I, if I start predicting whether he's going to be involved, not involved, I think is a dangerous thing because injury circumstances, as we've already seen this season, can change so quickly. So we've signed him to become part of our squad and part of our group. And, and I hope as soon as possible people get to see him like that. Perfect. Thank you, boss.